It is an absolute pleasure to welcome author Ray Young Jr. to our new series of author interviews. Welcome Ray, who is based in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, all the way in the USA. Thank you so much for taking the time to share your book with teachers here in the UK. Um, I understand that your book title is Malik and the Magic Bowtie. Um, before we get stuck into your amazing book, though, I'd like to know a little bit more about yourself. How did you come to write this book? How did you get into children's literature? So personally, growing up, I, I dealt with a lot of struggles as far as coming from a single parent home. Um, I really didn't see, you know, books that look like me. I didn't have no interest as well. Um, I had dropped out of high school. And so I am the first in my family to also go to college. And so I faced many adversities. Um, in regards to my background professionally, um, I was a teacher, uh, counseling, and in the nonprofit sector here. And so from my experiences, just working with kids and youth, uh, when they see themselves, you know, it just brings a glare to their face. And then uh, one day I was just told, hey, just write your book, just, just start writing and not worry about the small things. And I began to write the book around 2018. And then uh, it was confirmation how I came into my illustrator. My illustrator's name, Tyrus Goucher, who does amazing uh, artwork, as you can see in the book. Can you just tell us a little bit more about the book itself? Give us a, a, a summary. What is Malik and the Magic Bowtie all about? The title is quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. So Malik came from my son, Malik, uh, which stands for king, and which you hear that in the African language oftentimes. Uh, Malik says, or they say Malak, Malik, uh, stuff like that. Uh, magic Bowtie, I am a person that loves bow ties, as you can see, I have one on. Uh, but also I look at bow tie, yeah. <laughs> also look at bow ties as a life lesson. Uh, when you first try to put that bow tie on and you're trying to tie it yourself, uh, it, you're not going to get it right the first time. And so what it teaches, it teaches you in, from a life perspective that, hey, you got to keep trying until you get it right. And then in regards to uh, more of an outline of the book, um, you will find the importance of a father and son, which is a, a black father and a black son and having a relationship with one another. And then you have the importance of education. You have where you have generational past nouns, then you have overcoming obstacles. And the main important as well is a kid could be themselves, that they don't have to be followers. Um, I would like uh, to know, what do you think you would like children um, of all races and cultures to walk away with having read your book? What do you want them to enjoy the most? One thing is to be empowered. Um, uh, the book is a lot of like life lessons also, but it has fun in it with the life lessons. Uh, I want them to know that they are great, that they could be whatever they wanna be. And so that they can use their imaginary mind to be uh, something beyond what is expected from others. Uh, let them know that, hey, they can be a leader in their communities, leader in their school, leader in their home. Uh, so I, I want them to take a holistic perspective from the book and that they can apply it to themselves while having fun reading it. One of the things that uh, stands out the most when it comes to your book is the fact that it's a book that's based around a black family. Um, it's based around a black main character and uh, currently in the literature world of children's books here in the UK, we do have an underrepresentation of black and other minority ethnic characters as main characters. So certainly one of the things I loved about your book was that this was not the case. This was a, a book that could be accessed by any child of any culture, of any race, but yeah. it showed that positive uh, image of a Black main character. Um, that would fit very well within the classroom uh, so that all children can see themselves, all types of children can see themselves in a book. Um, but apart from this, what I would like to know is, um, how does your book, how do you think your book would translate to the classroom setting. Is there anything within the book that teachers will find useful in terms of uh, delivering lessons on reading comprehension? Correct. Uh, one of the things is summarizing. Um, the student will be able to recount what's happened because it, it's because it's eye-catching and the, it's an attention getter. And a lot of times uh, for students, you know, they, their um, attention span is very short at times. 
So one of the things is with that attention span, uh, that would help with the summarization uh, and recounting of what's going on. So would you agree that your book is certainly one uh, that would engage reluctant readers, children who find it difficult to read through chunkier text? Yes, it was, uh, I'm going to put it this way. I I've have come across where it's starting to go with special needs kids. The book is starting to go with special needs. Those that have a, maybe a reading disability, uh, even from not just the kids itself, it's going to adults, older kids that are reading it too. It's like, wow, you know, this is, impo- this is impactful. So uh, yes, it can go into that arena. Um, I think at this stage now, it's time for us to hand over to you while you share an extract of uh, Malik and the Magic Bowtie with us. Here we go, Malik and the Magic Bowtie. Let's get ready to read some of this book and enjoy it real quick, okay? Here we go. Malik started to feel discouraged. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll never win class president. There's not one kid in the whole class who looks like me. And I don't have very many friends. I've been trying to secure votes. I've done everything I could and they still don't like me. I understand, son. I look different from my classmates too. And I also didn't have many friends. His dad said with his hand on Malik's shoulder, wait here. I have something for you. Malik's dad went into his room and returned with a small red box. What's this? Malik asked as he reached for the box and uncovered a bow tie. I wonder what that bow tie is going to do for him. It sounds fantastic. I absolutely love not just the illustrations, but um, even the the subtle way that the, the, the deeper meanings are dealt with within this book. Um, straight away, we can see scenarios like this on a day-to-day basis in a classroom where, a children, uh, uh, where children may be interacting with somebody who is newly arrived as a newly arrived migrant child, um, or they may be dealing with um, a child from a completely different culture, different religion, um, Um, who dresses differently, you know, appears differently. um, And that child has to to basically mingle and mix and make friends um, in a very kind of a difficult situation there where nobody else looks like them. And the beauty of it is that most children are so accepting of of difference um, and are quite open to uh, any other child. They just see another friend most times. Mm -hmm. Uh, But there are the occasions where there does need to be that sensitive discussion about how do we make sure that we embrace all cultures, all races, all unique differences, um, so that there is that equality um, when it comes to friendship and that, uh, that, that building up of relationships. So thank you so much, Ray, for sharing your wonderful book with teachers today. It is always a pleasure to hear the author's voice behind the children's books. Um, finally, can you just share with us where your book can be purchased here in the UK? Okay, uh, you can um, purchase it on amazon.co.uk. Um, if also, if they want to follow me on social media, you can go on Facebook uh, at Malik and the Magic Bowtie. And then on Instagram is Malik underscore Magic Bowtie. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And we certainly look forward to hearing more about your books as your writing journey continues. I'm sure there'll be more Malik's um, uh, being written about and different th- different things to do with Malik and his magic bow tie. Um, we will certainly place a link to purchasing uh, Malik and the magic bow tie um, in the video. Uh, thank you so much for joining Readmaster for UK Teachers, home of the author's voice. Thank you, Ray. Thank you so much for your time.